Hey guys, welcome to Dog will Fix It and today we're going to tear down the LG Airbay in the W150, the model number for this watch. Um, it's got Snapdragon 400, 1.2 gig quad. 1.2 gigahertz quad core 512 giga mega ram and a 4 gig uh, um, drive or whatever you want to call it memory to store 4 gig storage standard um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tear this down it came out in maybe july sometime last year 2015 um, and standard leather straps metal casing you can see it looks pretty nifty um, not my kind of color uh, i'll go with the silver one which i do have um, but anyway so this is basically an evolution of the G-Watch R, which I also have here. So you can see this side by side the two. And we did a teardown of this watch on our one of previous videos, so you can go back and have a look at that. Um, slightly different, very similar, 90% similar, uh, maybe 10% different than that. I'll explain what the difference is in, 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 in terms of the teardown for both watches. So what they say is before you tear down this watch or open it up you need to remove the straps okay now you can notice if we do a comparison you can notice on the back of the two uh, of the LG G watch whoops the LG G watch there you go but if we do a comparison you can see that the LG G watch R has four screws and the Urbane has no screws so that's the key difference okay otherwise it's mostly the same so it has no screws because this back is glued in so it is waterproof, um, you know, 30 minutes, one meter of water, IP67 rating, um, but this back is glued in, so to, you know, you have to basically pry the back out. Um, and normally they say you should remove the straps, and I would recommend removing the straps um, to just to make your life easier, but if you have a look, there's a slight little wedge just here, which I could basically get into. It's a bit easier to open on this, you can see. So we're just going to pry it open. Remember, it's glued down, and I'll explain. You know, when you put this thing back together, here you go, I've got it open. When you put this thing back together, um, you will have to glue it back down. Otherwise, it will not be waterproof to or splashproof. So you would have to glue the edges back all the way around on the trim so it seals it. Otherwise, water will get in there, and you're, and you're basically screwed. <laughs> So, LG Urbane, you can see the motherboard right now. For you guys that have opened up watches like this before, this is a G Watch R motherboard. It's a dodgy one. Um, it's actually not the LG Urbane motherboard because that motherboard is running in this watch. I had because I, I don't really like the gold, so I swapped I swapped the boards over. And um, so you know, like this one, if I if you go to this if you go to um, settings, you can see I'll show it to you about and you can see it says LG Urbane do you see that Urbane 9197 and that's because the board in here the motherboard or the or the main board is actually from this watch and this is the one from this watch which is damaged so this board is fried but if you look like I said it's virtually the same the connectors are all the same for the screen so look this one up here I'll point to it on the screen this one here is the battery connector okay this one I think is a screen um, and this one here is for the for the power and the side button, um, and, and I think there's two two for the screen, but um, it's pretty straightforward, right? Nothing complicated to tear down. It's the same as it would be for the G Watch R from this point of onwards. You basically, if you let's so let's assume you're removing a battery, right? Or we're changing a battery over, for example, unplug all the clips or all the little jumper plugs or whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure what the right name for them is. There you go couple of screws let me get the screwdriver out ah here we go so screw there now the board layout between this this um this watch and the LG G watch R is 90% the same but 10% difference and the difference is, is these two these two screws they line up fine and that one doesn't so other than that it's the same thing so you can see I've got the board out straight there's a processor there's the uh, vibration spinner thingy majig we'll put that down there right and then you expose the battery so here's the battery now the battery is glued in you see the same thing on the G watch R you can just see if I, as I'm praying it's making a noise because it's stuck to the back there you go batteries out if you have a problem with the battery and you want to replace it, you can buy this off eBay for about, I think it's 15 quid, 12 quid, something like that. 
replace it and you're good to go um, I have not seen a motherboard on sale yet I've seen people with images of it but they don't have it in stock and I've never ever seen anyone with a motherboard in stock and even then the ones that have it listed but not in stock they priced the motherboard about 90 quid you could buy the whole watch for that much <laughs> so that's what I did I basically bought a, a donor watch which was this one I didn't like the colour so I stripped it down and put the internals into my G watch R which I prefer to wear um, just because of the styling of it rather than the gold um, I'd rather wear the silver one and then you, you can see there's a couple of screws here so if we try and pry them out oof a bit stiff got one finally there you go that's another one out now I notice that some people have power problems with the power jumpers you can you see the power jumper you see the power jumper the power the power points these line up with the dock um, and it includes the left button so the button is also part of this little unit you can actually buy this whole unit um, it's just it just unclips from there. You can see that. You see, you see. There's it. It's unclipped. So what we're going to do first is pull out the whole watch face, and that's going to leave the screen intact. Hopefully. Okay, this one's taking a bit more effort. Let me see if I can find a a better screw for it, a better screwdriver for it. Otherwise, hold on. Give me a second. So it's actually kind of stuck in there, but I'm trying to find something to open it with. Let's see, let's try the bigger one. Yeah. No, I thought I had it. <laughs> so anyway, that one's stuck. But you can, you can actually, you can actually pull up this. You see this all this black casing? It's one case, and the whole thing will just slide out. Okay, um, I'm going to try and find a smaller screwdriver, so just let's have a look, see what I've got in the tank. Hmm. Nothing that obvious, let's try something else. Yes, things jammed in, things jammed in, you know, so... Give us a sec. All right, we're back. Um, so this this screw was basically stuck. It took a lot of effort, and I finally managed to get it loose. So I'm just going to unscrew it for you. Um, I'm trying not to cut videos, and you know, try and be realistic as possible. So yeah, it was basically jammed. I had to put a lot of force in, which I can't do in front of the camera. I had to basically sit on it. And as I do that, you can see the casing comes out. So let's have a look at the casing first. Now this is the same as virtually the same as a G-Watch R, the casing pops out and if you're changing the side panels you see you can see oop, it dropped it and you can see um, you can just basically probably just clip this out there done so you can actually buy this I've seen this online for about 20 quid 15 20 quid um, so if you have if you have a problem with the button on the the hardware button on the watch or the power power terminals or whatever, you can probably get a replacement for it. So let's put this down. I think there's a website in Spain or somewhere like that. Some kind of jazz like that selling that kind of stuff. Um, and now we've basically got the internal housing, so the battery sits right in here. Um, and there's not much else to it. It just basically holds a battery, holds a board. So this is also screwed into the watch. So let's have a look at the casing itself. So now you have access to the screen. You can see the, the jumpers that were on the board. These two, this one, and this one. So these are for the screen. Um, and you can see there's a, that screw was the one that was stuck. It was solid. <laughs> so I had to give it some shit there. Um, but this is the screen. So you can replace the screen. Um, I've never tried it. Um, 
but it looks like the screen's kind of stuck in there. I mean, let's see, let's see. We may end up, we may end up making this worse, but we'll give it a shot. So there's this part of the screen there. So you can get, so I've seen screens for it. They're about the same price, 20, 30 quid. But like I said, you might as well just buy yourself a donor watch for that kind of price on eBay and, you know, swap what you need and keep what you don't need, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, the screens are pretty, pretty, probably the same with the G, are the same as the G-Watch R and the Silver Urbane. But there you go, that's the teardown. And then all you do is, let's say, like I said, let's say you were changing the battery. It was pretty straightforward. You wouldn't have to go to the length that I went to to strip it down, but why not? You know, if you need to, if you need to change the board, for example, it's even easier. You just take, unplug the jumpers, uh, take the screws out, swap the board over. But you, the only problem is, it's very difficult to get a replacement board for this. Like I said, I've not seen them, I've not seen them on sale and in stock, so it's a bit annoying. But like I said, I used a donor watch to do it. Um, that button's quite sturdy, by the way. And um, if you're changing the battery, it's even easier. I've seen the batteries for sale. So, like, I already actually have um, I already have a spare battery because <laughs> I bought it for the G-Watch because I thought I had trouble with the... Um, you can see I've got two batteries there. But I think it was 15 quid off eBay. There's one guy, there's one seller selling them. Um, so, you, you, know, you just search for um, LG Smartwatch or LG, LG Watch W150 is a model number. Okay, for the Urbane, and if you're searching for the G Watch, G Watch Ice, um, W100 is the model number, um, and this battery will fit both. So, uh, I've had a few questions about, you know, is it easy to change a battery? It's not that difficult if you've got the right tools, just some small uh, micro set screwdrivers, um, and you're good to go. So you could also go back and look at the LG uh, G Watch R teardown that we did. Like I said, it's very, very similar. Um, it's very, very similar to. Um, to uh, to everything else you've seen here right now with the LG G Watch, with the LG Urbane. Um, so look, have a quick look. This is a silver one I've got, which is actually running fine. Um, same thing, same process, nothing fancy, and you're good to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Any questions, you can message me on YouTube on the messages, and I'll do my best to respond. Um, and uh, any tips or anything else or any mistakes I've made, just let me know on the, on the messages, and uh, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot, man. And uh, make sure you subscribe to Doug Will Fix It for future videos or random fixes. So recently I fixed the LG TV. Uh, I changed the main board in it, um, which is uploaded already, so you can have a look at that. Fix some stuff on a car, on, on, the, on an X5, some parking sensors and all that jazz. So make sure you subscribe to get all the random fixes that you need. Anyway, catch you soon. Peace out.